How's it going, dudes? And we're back with Rain Sweat. So I guess we have a choice of either going to the hospital or meeting Jack. I think we'll go to the hospital. These medicines should help with the nightmares. But please don't expect the recommended dosage. It could have... Please don't exceed the recommended dosage. It could have undesirable results. Alright, so... What did you want to talk about here? Not here. Let's go around the back. Okay. Going around back, I guess. And we're in the back. Now. Do you have a light? What? I want to smoke. Do you have a light, right? You have a light, right? Sure, but... What? Do you think doctors don't smoke? Not exactly setting a great example, though, right? Eh, old habits die hard. Anyway, I want to tell you something that I just recalled. It's about Chris and Diane. I'm not sure if there's anything useful in there, but I guess that's for you to, to decide, right? Diane had come to the hospital a few months back. I checked the date earlier today. It was on the 16th of May. May 16th? Go on. That was the day she moved in permanently with Chris. She got a small cut on her foot, calling me out of my window, she said. She was happy to tell me the story without hiding any of the details that you'd think she would have. If I remember correctly, it was something like this. Flashback time. Time to get this mission underway. Okay. I can't run. Well, okay. Let's get inside. It's locked when you get inside. I need to find another way in. Eh. I saw something there. W to climb. I'm pressing W. I'm legitimately pressing W, but nothing's happening. Oh, I had to click. And up he goes. Up he goes. Open window. I think this is it. Diane? Diane. Huh? Damn, look here. What the? Where's, what on earth are you doing here? I've come to rescue you. Let me in, Diane. I've come to here to rescue you. You've come to what? Are you serious? Get out of here before someone sees you. That's why I need you to let me in. Please, Chris. If my stepdad sees you, that's why you need to le leave this heck hole. It's like a prison cell. You don't know him. He's capable of beating you to death. He won't even bother calling the police. Don't worry about that, Diane. I've planned ahead. I've got a gun. Wait, what? Where'd you get where'd you even get it? It's it was my dad's. He Are you crazy? What is wrong with you? I need to protect you. Then, 
I need to protect you. You're my responsibility now. I'm not taking any risks. You idiot. You're taking a risk doing this. Uh, just come in. You're gonna get us both killed. Um. Okay. That is some... Cr Trish. Thought you'd be impressed. Oh, um. Interesting bedroom. Shut up. I feel like a boy man. I feel like a boy being obsessed teen again. Um, shut up. And you are... Are you here to take me with you? Or make fun of my room? Not like I'm gonna come anyways. Why not? You gotta come. You're miserable here. Why well, can't... I can't just run away. Chris, it's dangerous. That too... That too is you. A crazy man with a gun. Hey! But I don't want to have to live... You don't want to live with me? I want... I want to travel around. You want to settle down and start a business. How's it going to work? Hmm... We'll figure it out. Obviously, saying, saying that doesn't mean anything. We can't just play house. We'll figure things out. We can make it work as long as we're together. That's all I want. If it doesn't work out, where will I go then? I don't know if I can come back here. And anyway, my mother will probably send the cops or something to look for me. I don't want to deal with that. Say something sensible, Chris. You don't want to fail this mission. Um. Oh yeah, like that's sensible. Or saying something. Say something, Chris. Something smart, mature, and meaningful. That's what she's looking for. Uh. <laughs> None of these options are what he's wanting to say. It's worth a shot. Look, Diane. Hmm. Look, Diane. I think it's worth giving this a shot. You get away from your stepdad. In this toxic environment atmosphere, even he, even he doesn't. And haven't you always wanted to move away from here? Isn't that what you've been trying to do? Yeah, but. And anyway, how how bad can it go? Even if things don't work out between us, if for some reason you need to move away and leave me. I'll help you out with that. But things and and between us, I still do it as a friend. You can't make those kinds of promises, Chris. I can't? Maybe. I can't maybe. But there's no way I'm gonna convince you to come and then leave you stranded. I feel like it's my responsibility to now to make sure things work out for you after today. And you know, I do things that I say I'm gonna do. Yeah, you're 24. Even if it's not the right decision, mistakes happen. It's not a crime. Your parents will understand. However, terrible you may. You may uh, you say they are. It's worth finding out. I think you already know what your current life is like. But what about a complete change? It's better living with regret. Better than wondering what if. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
Yeah, okay. Well, okay then. Put me back. I did it, I did it. Alright. Shush. That's so loud. Oh, I actually have to do stuff. You wanna take this boombox with you? Do you have one at home? Nope. Then take it. Okay. Take. Back alley dudes, huh? What? They're good. I didn't say anything. You're gonna listen to them a lot over the coming days. Just saying. I don't mind. Back alley dudes. <laughs> Is that a, a, spoof, a reference to Backstreet Boys? Oh. Take the CD player? You'll probably get tired of listening to my music on the, mo on the boombox all day, so yes. Hmm, I don't think I'll get tired. A few months later, you will. Trust me. Alright, taking the CD player. Where is he putting all this? That's a nice looking lamp globe thing. We're taking that. What, a globe? We're trying to sneak out of. Come on. It's really cool and I love it. It's either me and the globe or it's neither. Alright, alright. Taking the globe, I guess. Hmm. Yes, I need all that. I should have brought a trunk. A truck. Aha. Uh -huh. What exactly are we all. Oh, okay. Oh, let's take the guitar. Oh, a globe is too big to sneak out. What, a guitar's alright? Don't expect me to play it or anything. We'll see about that. I guess we're taking the guitar. Hey. Fan of horror films, eh? Aren't you? Hmm, not really. They don't really scare me. That's not the point, Chris. You gotta laugh at them and try to predict the scares. And, oh god, we're gonna have so much fun. Put them in the bag. <laughs> I guess we're putting them in the bag. Um, I should put all this stuff she wants in the bag. Man, I can't believe this is happening. Oh, Chris, concentrate on packing for now. Okay, let's... Put it all in the bag. Crap items in bag. Well, the whole world is in the bag now. Ugh, the pun. No, I mean literally because we put a globe. Put, we put the globe. <laughs> I get it, Chris. I'm almost done here too. Well, okay then. Thank you, Chris. Well, it wasn't that hard. Not for helping me pack, idiot. Or taking me away from here. I don't know how m much it means to me. I completely said that wrong, somehow. Let's go. Oh. And they're driving the Pine View. This is nice scenery. Aww. This is touching. Even if I already know what happens to them. I feel real sorry for those two. They were just kids, really. Still. Full of hope and still full of hopes and dreams. 
find out what happened, yeah? Don't let Sheriff knock you off course. Yeah. And take care of yourself. If the dizziness persists, come straight back to me, and we'll run a few tests. Okay, don't try to be... Don't try to be a tough guy and ignore it. Yes, Doc. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Well, that was enlightening. What did Dr. Martinez say? Uh, nothing to worry. Gave me a few pills to sleep better. Seriously? Yeah, it's all fine. Well, that, that experience was... Enlightening, to say the least, and very touching. But I'm just going to end this video here. If you did enjoy, hit that like button. And if you're new, subscribe. And why not hit that bell? And thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.